The Battle of Shiting was fought between the states of Cao Wei and Eastern Wu in 228 during the Three Kingdoms period of China. The battle concluded with a Wu victory. Chapter 1 Battle The Wu King Sun Quan ordered Zhou Fang to lay a trap for the Wei General Cao Xu by pretending to defect to Wei. Cao Xu was deceived into leading his troops straight into Wan. Sun Quan then appointed his general Lu Xun as Grand Chief Controller and ordered him to lead an attack on Cao Xu. On the way to Wan, Cao Xu fell into an ambush by Wu forces. He was unable to gain the upper hand in battle so he ordered a retreat to Shiting. In the middle of the night, the Wei soldiers started panicking and many of them deserted and abandoned their weapons, armor, and equipment. After his defeat, Cao Xu wrote a memorial to the Wei Emperor Cao Rui to apologize for his failure and requesting to be punished. After realizing that he had been tricked by Zhou Fang, Cao Xu felt too ashamed to turn back. Thinking that he had more troops and supplies, he chose to engage Lu Xun's army. Lu Xun personally led the central force and ordered Zhu Huan and Quan Kong to take the left and right flanks. The three armies advanced simultaneously, and decisively took on Cao Xu's army. Following that, the Wu troops pursued the fleeing Wei forces until they reached Jiaxi, where they annihilated some 10,000 enemy soldiers and obtained over 10,000 spoils of war, in addition, all of the Wei army's equipment and weaponry were looted. Lu Xun regrouped his men, and when he passed by Wuchang, Sun Quan instructed his attendants to shield Lu Xun with his own canopy when entering and leaving the palace doors. Sun Quan bestowed upon Lu Xun as reward were imperial items, precious items of the finest grade. The honors Lu Xun received were matched by no one in that era. Cao Xu barely escaped the battlefield with his life. He died some months later from skin infections on his back resulting from the wounds he sustained during the battle. According to legend, Cao Xu did not believe Zhou Fang at first. Zhou Fang cut off locks of his hair to prove his loyalty. In any case, Zhou Fang knew the terrain well, so he started to lead Cao Xu into a clearing, where Cao Xu could set up camp. However, before they left, Jia Kui advised Cao Xu not to trust Zhou Fang. Cao Xu not only did not heed Jia Kui's words, but went ahead and fell for Zhou Fang's ruse. He also removed Jia Kui from command and moved on with his 70,000 troops. Jia Kui, who had come along with Cao Xu, helped Cao Xu retreat from the ambush. For this, Jia Kui received praise from the Wei Emperor Cao Rui.